What's up, everybody? Brick monster back. I just almost said brick people back. Never mind. So, as you can tell by the title, we are... I am going to teach you how to make ray shield armor. And I'm going to give credit to the noble artist. I did not make this by myself. Because he said in one of his videos, give credit. Because apparently people... I don't know people that this is kind of rude if you do that. If you take... Um, his ray shield armor and say it's your own, that's rude, but this is not my own, this is, um, Noble Artists, and I'm doing a how-to guide, and after this, go watch his how-to guide, and, yeah, well, before you do that, go watch my, um, video that I am uploading, actually, right now, it is my, it's my mock that I'm actually reviewing on right now, and go watch that, and then go watch... Type up Noble Artist, go to his YouTube, no, type in Lego Noble Artist, um, Ray Shield Armor. And then hit, or how to make Ray Shield Armor by Noble Artist. And then it will come up. And so today, I'm just helping him get credit, and hopefully I get just some politeness from it, because I'm not taking credit as my own. So, yeah. Let's, I'm going to tell you guys how to make it. So first, I'm going to go get those supplies, and I will see you guys in a moment. <gasps> Goodbye. Okay, guys, so I am back. Hold on, I want it just to focus on his arm, because it's... So I'm going to show you the supplies you need first. A sharp pair of scissors. Glue. Hot glue would work better, but this is the glue I use, which it holds up fine. Sharpies or paint. I prefer Sharpies um, on this. And a cookie box. So, first, what you want to do, you want to take your scissors. Then, what you do is you will take them, snippy snap, and you'll cut out a piece. You guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I have already cut out some, like you can see. All this pieces in here and so you just kind of cut some out and cut out for the perfect design I think this design is pretty good and then what you want to do go grab your color let's say I wanted pink ray shield armor then get a surface um, I usually use either a paper towel newspaper that my parents are done reading or just a little pad that I have right here. And then what you do, you'll put it down, color it whatever color you want. And then you wait, just wait like uh, 30 minutes. And then you um, dab some glue dots on it, probably about two, depending on the size. Like this size, I dab two dots of glue on it. And then you put it on them, you put it on a minifigure plate that comes in the minifigure series lines and then you wait I suggest waiting four to eight hours that's usually what I wait and it turns out great I've had this figure for about three days and it's only fallen off once but that the only reason it fell off is because I put it up too high so when I moved the arm it just hit his helmet and it fell off so really it wasn't the glue's fault but yeah so just use some Elmer's school glue and it'll work just fine. And then, once you have it done, make sure that it works. Move their arm around a little bit. And then, boom, you have your ray shield armor. And you can also use it on, like, backs and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is a Monster. Bye.